I'm a high performance results coach. I work primarily with elite athletes because I'm a retired U.S. national and international figure skating coach. I have a gold medal in ice dancing. And today I'm like an obsessed tennis player with some really big <laughs> audacious goals. <laughs> well, I've been an elite athlete for 50 years now, and it's just what drives me. I decided to just really hone in. Yes, I'm also known as America's Happiness Coach because I also have a happiness podcast called Happiness Solved, which I released the same time as my book. You can see it. It's not showing up yeah, there. It's background. But yeah, my book, Happiness Solved, is a, a mini memoir workbook and self-improvement book as well. So it's just fun lifting people up and happiness is a choice and the choice is yours. So two questions to start out. One, what got you into tennis? And the second is your clientele is specifically high performance athletes or do you work with other individuals? I work with other individuals as well. It's just because of my figure skating background, I was recruited back into that world after I retired 20 years ago. And yeah, I do work with any high performer. I'm a, a very much a high performer and my clients come to me to get results. So they're always looking for a specific results. For example, I have an ice dancing team that came to me last year because they were a brand new team in this, the male counterpart had been ice dancing his whole life. The female had just started. She gave up freestyle jumping and spinning and went right to ice dancing. And so they wanted to qualify for junior worlds. And in addition to their technical coaches and whatnot, the whole team, we all worked together. I made some tweaks and gave them some different things to work on with their mindset because success is 80% uh, mindset. Yeah. And they competed in junior worlds last month. So yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little naive in the ice skate or the ice skating, whatever you want to call it. Nash, what is ice dancing? If I heard that so, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So ice dancing, I'm sure most people are familiar with ballroom dancing. Yeah. So it's very similar to ballroom dancing, but it's on the ice. So it's obviously it's a lot more difficult. There's unlike para skating, they do some spins. There's no jumping. And the, the male can only lift the female. He, he can't lift her over his shoulders. Whereas in para skating, you see them lift them completely yeah. over their head. 